<laughs> you went swimming and everything, huh? <laughs> that ain't what he told me. <laughs> I hit the jaw the first one, got it straight through almost. Now I'm right there. He said it's close straight through. Snuck up on the field, deer's already in the field. Starts walking out the field, I get on my knees, get a little closer, pull a bow back, whack it. It runs off, stops. I think I might have missed it. I try to sneak up on it again, it just lays down. So I back off of it for a while. Wait 20 minutes, go back to it, it's still alive, sitting there. It tried to stand up and fell back down, so I knocked another arrow. When it stood up the second time, I shot again. Bowstring hit my arm, caused the arrow to fly far to the right, hit it in the jaw. <coughs> De deer whirled around and ran back to the edge of the greenfield, lay back down. Two more deer were in the greenfield during all of this, apparently. This guy gets back up, heads towards the end of the greenfield. The other two walk right to me, smell me, run off never snorted or anything. I go into the greenfield looking for this deer. I can't find him. I look out in the middle of the lake and it's floating in the middle of the lake. So I shed all my clothes, jumped in the water and swam out there and got it. And that's when I realized it was a spike. And that's the story. <laughs>